Hello everyone, and welcome to my first video regarding uh, technical articles. I guess now they're technical videos, <laughs> I'm not really sure. But anyways, so a lot of, I've been doing this data logging series, and one of the things that is pretty cool you can do with data logs is actually simulate a dyno with horsepower and torque. So I thought I would actually just go ahead and make a video on how to do that. So let's start today. So this is just some random data log. I honestly don't even remember what this is from. Um, but whenever you open up your data log, if you have Eurodyne, it will look something like this. Um, basically, the first um, row is all the different variables, and then these are all the data points. So, first of all, we want to trim out anything we don't need. So, it looks like at these first two, I was not accelerating. And you can tell that because the engine torque is negative. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete those. And then it looks like I stopped accelerating, or at least I shifted here. So I'm going to delete everything below this as well. So at the time, Eurodyne did not have a very high speed logger. So this is not going to be the smoothest graph in the world, but that's okay. So we are going to need engine um, speed. And we are actually just going to need this engine torque column. So this is measured engine torque. If you logged um, the torque limit, make sure you don't use that. You want the actual measured torque. All right, so we're going to insert some rows here. And we're going to, first of all, we're going to make one for torque in foot pounds. And let me go ahead and actually make this bigger. So there's no reason to have it that small. So basically, what we need to do is convert this, which is in Newton meters, to foot pounds of torque. So equals this cell and then I just did this so I happen to know 1.3558 is about the conversion ratio. Um, you can look this up this is again if you're logging in most loggers this is in Newton meters. One Newton meter is equal to one point or sorry I did that wrong 1.3558 Newton meters equal one foot pound. So we have that and then we can go ahead and just drag that down and this gives us the torque um, at each RPM that was measured and then what we need to do is now calculate horsepower. So horsepower equals foot pounds times RPM over 5252. So this simple formula here, which let me make that even bigger, and if you ever have looked at a dyno plot, you'll always notice that they cross at 52 at about 5200 RPM. And the reason for that is just because this is literally the formula to calculate it. So we will go ahead and implement that formula. So oops, and you do, Excel is picky, so you do actually need the parentheses. So this cell times the RPM and then divided by 5252. And we drag this down. And now we have the basically calculated horsepower. All right, so now we want to actually know, so now we want to actually plot this as if it was a dyno. So the easiest way to do this, in my opinion, is, and you go to insert, and then you're gonna go to charts, and you're gonna select this scatter plot with smooth lines. So when you don't have a lot of data points, especially, this helps to make the graph look a lot nicer. And then we are going to select data. So our series name, so the first thing we're going to do, let's do power first, so horsepower. X values, we're going to select our engine speed values there because that is the X axis in the graph. Then for Y values, we'll select horsepower. And then we are going to do the same thing for torque. is probably terribly boring. All right, so now we basically have our horsepower and torque dyno plot. Um, basically almost done. So let's see here. So there's a couple things that you'll probably want to do. So first of all, I can tell you this is most likely not the cleanest log and that's why this kind of looks awful but let's ignore that fact for now. So the first thing you wanna do is format this access. And the reason why I say that is 
when you, we first started accelerating, the torque was at basically zero. So this data here isn't necessarily useful, um, particularly because we're in a boosted car. So what I usually do is I say, well, it looks like at about like 3,000, the you know we've made boosts so that's relevant. Um, so I'll move the minimum up to 3,000. And now we kind of have this nice horsepower and torque curve, and we can you know add all of our um, you know axis titles and all that good stuff on. So RPM. Ah. And this would be horsepower and torque. And then we'll probably want a legend to actually say what is what. And this basically gives us our power and our torque curve. So as you can see, this one did not come out super well because the um, because this log, for whatever reason, was not perfectly clean. Um, also, Uridine's logger, it has been updated since, but is not nearly at, or is much faster at logging now. Um, just to show an example of what this can look like. So if you get a nice clean log, you can get something like this. So this one I was able to do a pull from very low RPM and log it all the way out. And this is um, this is what you essentially can get. Oops. So this is more or less like the goal, I would say, of making this graph. Hopefully you get something nice and smooth. Um, this again is the importance of good data logging. But anyway, so now doing this, you can look at your, you can basically simulate your dyno graph. You can get relatively close numbers, it seems like. They seem to be more like crank numbers than wheel numbers to me. And you can figure out where you're peaking power. Um, the nice thing is, I'm kind of rambling on here, but the nice thing and the takeaway from this that I really like is you can tell the shape of the curve really well, um, like where it's making its power and where torque is coming on and stuff like that. So just to give another comparison, um, earlier today I was testing out a low boost tune and you can see that because it was low boost it actually pretty much kept pulling harder and harder all the way to 6700 RPM because the turbo could keep up. Um, unlike in the previous graph that we were looking at where it peaks power much earlier. So anyways, this is basically how to make a uh, dyno. Hope this video helped and I didn't go through it too fast, but yeah, pretty simple.